Darcy's ripping into it. Just trying to kick that people down and spin. Then we jump back to it again. Ninja, ninja, come on. Come on. Crystallized finale came out, and I am disappointed. Like, uh, I don't know. People have already started talking about it. It's it's only been it's it's coming out tomorrow, but it's already leaked in New Zealand, and September thirtieth, a day before it comes out, it's officially releases. And all I have to say, this does not seem good. This is a terrible finale. <clears throat> One of the worst I've seen since season six, <laughs> which is, oh my God, you guys fumbled the bag, guys. I think it's because of Lego. No hate to any of the creators on the team who's working on it, but just because Lego wanted to wait like five months, ah, sorry, I was about to swear, five months just to put this piece of crap out. And now everyone is hating on this. I don't even, I feel bad for the creators because they poured their sweat into this. I don't hate them at all. But I think the writing is the app. I'm hitting on Ninjago, not the writers or any of that. I'm hitting on the crystallized finale since it wasn't that good. Also, I won't be putting episode 30 clips in this at all since that would, that would be, make me look like a piece of shit. Look at that, some people, some people, <clears throat> Some people do reviews already when this stuff came out in English. Some people are doing that, and some people aren't, which is good. Like, uh, Krusty783, he hasn't talked about that at all. He's only been talking about when it, the release date, which is pretty good, and he hasn't shared it on his community post yet, at least on YouTube, so that's great. But this episode is, oh my god, the crystallized finale. That's the only episode that I hate. Episode 30. The rest is actually pretty good, but I hate that episode solely. First of all, Golden Only Lloyd was hyped to be this amazing thing. And guess what? They only used him for 30, 30 seconds. This, this, I was hyped for this. I was amazed, but no, it had to be like this. Okay, I've been waiting for this for five months. And guess what? It turns out to be bad. <laughs> But that's okay, still. I, I, I think I'm okay with that for now. But I still don't like it. Another reason is, Harumi actually turned full on good. Now it's not confirmed that Harumi and Lloyd are dating. I shared my opinion that I wanted Harumi to be an anti-hero. And I thought she was gonna be when the, the Overlord revealed that he was the one who was the, who, um, who, who controlled the serpent. He was the one who corrupted the Great Devourer. So the Great Devourer could have been a good guy too. Which is really stupid. Also, Harumi. Let's talk about Harumi for another time. No, right now. Let's talk about her right now. Turning her good? Oh my god. Guys, what are you doing? A manipulator. Yes, some people can turn good. But this ma manipulative... Thing. This is not realistic. I know Ninjago isn't realistic at all, but come on, man. You think that Lloyd and Harumi will come back together? What about Akita? Is he forgetting about Akita? Will Akita not be a thing? Will Lokita not be a thing? Will that be abandoned? Will Akita never come back? <clears throat> First of all, let's talk about how the return of Ice Emperor was trash since nobody... No, like literally Zayn just turned had his head turned into like um He had his little head turned into the ice emperor and he had like a glitch and dr. Borg fixed him in like two episodes And compatible, you know, I haven't watched compatible yet. I only watched the third episode 30 so Episode 30 and episode 27. I'm not watching the ones not in English, but I am watching the ones in, basically in English and I didn't miss anything from those episodes, honestly. Basically nothing. And the jump back, tip back, whip around thing is really corny. But I actually like it, so that's excused. But everything else is just trash. 
and nobody sacrificed themselves nobody died literally like nobody died when um someone was live streaming this stuff <clears throat> when someone was live streaming guess what they put in they literally put in um <sighs> when someone was live streaming you know, <laughs> i can't even talk about it anymore it's so freaking stupid. But someone was live streaming and in the chat I saw someone. I swear Garmin that's probably gonna be like be like when he died in the epic his fake out death. Spoilers, but he had a fake out death. And everyone in the chat was like, Oh my god, Garmin Dog's probably gonna come back and he said he's only gonna do that be he only did that because um because something because um like he wanted to see Lloyd transform into an only Lloyd. And uh <clears throat> guess what? That did happen, but for only only for 30 seconds. Yeah, I was counting. Only Lloyd is trash. And the ninja's powers are gone, which is pretty good. That's a pretty good idea, not having powers anymore. This is just like season two nostalgia. I hope in Ninjago United, there's like new ele 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 elemental um like powers that are coming to a new ninja, like new kids are all around Ninjago, all around in the Ninjago world, which would be pretty cool. And then you have to train those ninja so they can so they can be like the new heroes of Ninjago since they don't have any their powers anymore. That would actually be pretty good for Ninjago United. Well, Ninjago United. Don't know if that's the full name. That's an actual name. It's just a new series, I think. That's what it's called. But uh, don't. Don't claim me on that. It might be wrong. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, <sighs> this is a fire pit, and I thought crystallized was gonna be in my like top three. No, it's not in my top three. I was disappointed in the finale. It was supposed to be hype, but I felt like it was trash, utter garbage. It was utter garbage in the gutters. I did not like it at all. But no hate to Tommy and Jason or anyone who worked on this, who worked on this series. Series, I think I love that you put your hard work into it, and the animation it was it, like actually on par with the movie, which is crazy. Especially this fight scene I'm showing with Lou and um, the Overlord, which was amazing, and the Overlord died in a in a generic way. In a little, literally, I thought the Overlord was going to like die and like, like be frozen or something by Zen, and like him being kept in ice. Can since they can't really destroy darkness, it can always come back. But no, uh, they they completely destroyed the Overlord. So, uh, thanks, Ninjago. <laughs> this is record being recorded on September thirtieth, by the way, October fourth. Fourth, it will finally release officially. But Ah, it leaked so in New Zealand, so now I'm expressing my thoughts on it. <laughs> and uh, let's just say it wasn't very good. And yeah, my other uh, fellow Ninjago YouTubers also don't like it. And Harumi turning good, I thought full on good. I hope she doesn't get back with Lloyd. They're hinting at that, which is absolutely disgusting. Uh, that's the only thing I I'm hating on the writers for. Everything else is good. This is reminding me of see what, ha what, what happened in season 11 when everyone hated that shit. And season 11 wasn't that bad. And Crystallize is not that bad. But I think when I do my ranking, when I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do a ranking video of all of the Ninjago seasons. I think I'll put this at number seven or eight. It doesn't deserve a number one, honestly. It does not. Maybe you'll be surprised if I put in number top three or the top five, and it's definitely not the number one. And I have another favorite that does this concept more better and stuff, and does a word more better, and that's obviously Hunted, and it's my favorite season for obvious reasons. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't like, you can express your opinions on this, just don't.